Some morning maintenance. Yeah, I'm just getting rolling, trying to get some drive out of this thing. So, gotta go to the notebook and kind of throw a little bit more than the normal at it. Maybe made some calls back to the West Coast and see had what we can do. To, had to see what uh, old Jimmy Ellis thought I should I should go with. You know, like I said, this place is a little bit more unique than what we have back home as far as how much it changes and how much it slows down. So sometimes you gotta do some more crazy things than just the basic. So back here inside the infield for day number two, one of the drivers with the team that we had came down with, Maddie Mockridge, is getting ready to go out for a heat race. We're gonna see if we can get some cool clips in here. I wanted to come kind of film now to see the differences with all of the exhaust fumes out of the building. This is the first race on the track. The track's probably gonna be pretty green, have a lot of moisture, and uh, it should be pretty, pretty fast. So I don't know if we'll see much passing, but anyways, we're gonna come out here, we're gonna get the first heat race rolling. I'm going to test some stuff with my camera. I always like to try different angles, different uh, lenses, and I'm still trying to figure out what I think would be best so when Tanner comes out I can get the best shot possible. We're going to test some stuff on my camera right now while watching some racing. Looks like we got some fence repair going on here. One of the 250s absolutely went huge on the front stretch. And uh, it's probably one of the gnarliest 250 wrecks I think I've ever seen. Just kind of got on its side and just cartwheeled, but uh, I missed it. I should have filmed it, but I missed it. It was that heat race got jiggy. Two people flipped and everyone else was just wrecking. So they've been running heat races all day. Some of the clips you have seen were from Maddie and Parker Mockridge. Uh, went out there since we're pinned with them, got some cool clips for them. Now Tanner's getting ready to go up. So open heat races are up next. It's kind of been a squirrel fest. Um, yeah, I don't know what to expect. The opens are always wild, so we'll see what they do out here on this track. saw there we got some track prep going underway here before the open heats it's all good Tanner rolls out last or the last heat I don't know where he rolls out in it but uh, ASCS passing point format should be a good one we got quick eight heats to go here and then we're gonna start wrapping it up with the qualifiers for today Good heat for us. Uh, started second um, and uh, didn't really get going good at early, but 
got um, had a restart and just kind of changed my lineup. You know, early on I didn't feel great, but the more laps I ran, I think as my tire got a little bit hotter, feeling that it didn't, it still didn't even heat up much. We have such a hard right rear compound here running these 50s, which is the hardest compound that Hoosier and Burris makes. But um, once I got going, you know, I kind of started working on running my line and felt good to be in clean air. So I feel way better about the weekend because uh, I've been stressing this whole time not getting a chance to test my car and I finally got to see a slicker surface. And I personally thought the slicker surface was way better than when it was hooked up. So hopefully they maybe note that and kind of, you know, give us something similar to that the rest of the weekend as far as passing and being able to move around. But um, second to first, did everything we could do. So I am on the infield right now. Tanner is the first qualifier to come out. Um, the last, um, second to last 250 qualifier has been crazy. I mean, since the car that had flown off the top of the track, which I, I really think I may have deleted that clip and I'm going to be upset about it. Um, but this one has been no different. It's been kind of crazy. We're doing some fence repair right now because two cars just went head on into it. And uh, I'm thinking maybe we'll grab a quick interview with some of these kids down here. Maybe I don't know if they can. I don't know if you could even hear them with their helmets on, but uh, I'm thinking about it. All right, so we got one of the carts down here with us. Where are you running right now? Third. He's running third in a qualifier. Where'd you start? Fourth. Fourth. So he's up one. You got a good restart opportunity here. What do you think you need to do to get there? Definitely run a little bit higher yeah. and stay in the throttle a little bit more. There you go. All right, well, good luck. Okay, so you just saw in that last clip right there, um, there's kind of a funny backstory to that. I said him and he when I interviewed that driver. It is actually a girl, and her name was Avery Morgan. Now, I could not really tell that from where I was. I guess I should have read the name on the hood right there, but I completely spaced it. I was more concerned about if I was even going to be able to hear uh, the driver that I interviewed with my camera. But uh, it was funny, she came up afterwards with some of her friends and talked to Tanner and said, hey, your, your cameraman um, was like joking or something like that. And Tanner was like, what do you mean? So he called me over and she was having a good time with it. She was, uh, she was a great sport about it. She was laughing. So it's kind of just one of those funny deal things. But anyways, a big shout out to her. I'm gonna link her Instagram right here. Completely my mistake, you ripped last night. She has a 252 stroke and I believe on a factory QRC outlaw cart. So um, that's great to see out here in Oklahoma. But anyways, a big shout out to Avery for being a great sport and completely understanding. Uh, you ripped last night and good luck today. good qualifier I think we went like fourth or fifth all the way to the win so that's good for points and uh, hopefully we lock in then we can go to bed feeling good tonight and uh, sit around all day for the main event and all, we can do. all right so the races are concluded and uh, me and Carly were hungry so we're we're ripping the old rental van right now to uh, Whataburger I've had it like one time in Texas. Carly, you've never had it? Nope, never. So we're gonna give it a shot. Um, we're hungry and they're open 24 hours. So I just wanted to show you guys right now, like we're being very safe. There's no one on the road or Turn anything. Left. And it's 20 miles an hour, but look at this van. This thing's like a spaceship. Like this thing has so many, like look at that control panel right there. We got an LCD screen we could watch TV on. And I have this screen too in the keys have like 50 different options on them like this thing is insane okay? we got the water burger yeah all right so uh we're ripping through here we got a bunch of the locals out yeah south baptist baby 